A final decision about where to relocate this high security government research lab on Plum Island, New York, is not expected for several months. But a new government study concludes an outbreak of foot and mouth disease would cost the U.S. economy about a billion dollars more if it occurred at a facility built near livestock herds in Kansas or Texas than it would if it happened at the current facility on Plum Island. The U.S. is looking at five possible locations for the new facility. Athens, Georgia, Manhattan, Kansas, Butner, North Carolina, San Antonio, Texas, and Flora, Mississippi. A sixth alternative not likely would be building a new research lab on Plum Island. Dr. Roger Breeze is a former director at the current facility. It seems a little odd to be thinking of locating the lab in a region where there's a lot of agricultural animals. The report also says if the research lab were built and operated according to government safety standards, the chances of such an outbreak would be extremely low. But it warns if an outbreak did occur, it could potentially be more costly than the one in Great Britain seven years ago, where losses were estimated at $5 billion. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.